Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcomes you to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. Today's topic is on radiophysics and that is also on CT scan. So, physics required or base of physics behind CT scans. We have seen on CT there is a lot of time assessment by the radiologist, by the technician as far as quality is concerned. But as far as quantitative assessment is concerned, I think we need to have or you need to hear this lecture where we are told why it is important. So, today's lecture is going to be on quantitative assessment of CT scan that is the physics made simplified by Dr. Anil Joshi in the series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. To start with are the disclosures. Most of the material we are using here has come from the departmental lecture series which we conduct every year. We acknowledge with thanks those who has contributed for this material. Some of the material has also come from the net which is royalty free. With this brief introduction, let us get going to the topic that is the quantitative assessment of CT, how it is carried out. In majority of uh, examinations, the resultant images are inspected virtually and qualitated by a radiologist. So, radiologist tell the radio quality of image is good, technician prefers that it is a good quality image, so that is adequate. A few spe special applications require absolute evaluation of the attenuation coefficient. These quantitative CT applications have a fairly long tradition, particularly in case of bone mineral density measurement for diagnosis and therapeutic follow-up of osteoporosis. So, it was earlier implemented in that. In, in this, the measured attenuation coefficient or a Hounsfield number are usually compared. So, a data from the patient, a data standardized are compared and the basic of it is Hounsfield unit. With simultaneous measurement made on calibrated calcium containing inserts. By using insert with calcium content similar to that of the vertebra to be investigated, patient dependent beam hardening effects can be compensated for at least to the first order approximation. A further refinement requires measured attenuation data with two different X-ray spectra by changing the X-ray tube voltage. This is done by using dual energy scans. It is possible to distinguish the individual contributions of the calcium and the water-like tissues to the total measured attenuation coefficients. This will be better determine the bone mineral content of the vertebra. So, that is how we can compare the body tissues with that of the standard one. There are a number of less customary quantitative CT procedure such as measurement of the tissue perfusion with dynamic CT or a Xenon CT. Then measurement of the lung density represented by an area of great interest. Before implementation of the control scan by spirometry, either earlier days following method was implemented. Now, which is related to the measurement of the respiratory cycles and valuability of the suitable automated evaluation methods. So, this is a comparative between a body and that of the standards. Apart from documenting finding objectively, these are frequently required in occupational diseases. The primary aim is to detect the disease sensitivity by the selective analysis of the different areas. For this, automated evaluation of the peripheral parts of the lung is required, which is done by quantitative assessment of CT. Now, with that briefly, we have seen a qualitative and a quantitative. 
a qualitative is done most of the time by radiologists, by the technicians. But as far as quantity is concerned, we need to have certain parameter, we need to have certain standards which we have seen in this lecture. With that, we are coming to end lecture. Thanks for giving me your valuable time. Please visit our website for comprehensive and detailed lecture over this topic as well as on many other topics. The addresses of our website are given and that of the YouTube channel. If you like, give us a like. If you wish your friends should know, then tell them also to have a look at it. Thank you. Goodbye and take care.